We've traded in our solid foundation for a home that roams and quite literally has no foundation. We found security in being tied to the dock, but soon we'll be leaving it all behind to travel to places we've never been. This is Dock Life. Welcome to the neighborhood. We don't take for granted the ease of getting fresh fruits and veggies, especially at a reasonable price. <laughs> we know it won't always be this easy. What you got there? A lot of groceries. We got two carts. Provisions, as full. they say. And we are heading to the boat. So every marina is different. Excuse me? It's 5 a.m. Time to work out. Yeah, right. <laughs> this girl wishes it was five o'clock in the morning. She hasn't seen five o'clock in the morning since she had a W2. <laughs> Anyways, so every marine is a little bit different as I was about to say. And you know, they have different amenities. So we like to take advantage of the amenities here the stinky at stinky old weight room. <laughs> our marina. At 5 a.m. But it is really stinky. So let's show you what we're working with here. <laughs> this is our wonderful workout room. It smells very stale, yep. which is why we prop the door open yep. and we turn, excuse me, we turn the fan on yep. in hopes to pull some fresh air in so we can get a little sweat in. Yep, and it is not 5 a.m. It's actually almost 10 p.m., but we really, really hope one day to be able to get a morning routine where we get up early and start our day working out. But it's never for happen. now, we're finishing the day working out. Never gonna happen. This is why we can't we are go not to bed before people. midnight. <laughs> so anyways, all right, we're gonna get our workout in. Catch you guys in a minute. We're gonna say good morning to the Breakfast Club. Good morning, Breakfast Club. Hey, morning. How are y'all? Good. How you guys doing? Morning. Good. Good. We're gonna take Dixie for a quick walk. Yeah. Get her a donut first. <laughs> Get her a donut. Sure. Yeah, I'm buying. <laughs> All right. Dog walks look different these days. It's a quarter mile each way to take Dixie out, which isn't horrible until it starts to rain. Sit, stay, stay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. is a successful de-shedding session. Dixie? Looks like a full-size yeah. skunk. <laughs> You're looking good, girl. <laughs> Where are we going for lunch? All right, so we're going to Rodney's Jamaican Grill for lunch. We're gonna get some beef patties. Mm. Jamaican beef patties, they're amazing. And then on top of that, uh, or right next door, is Ace Hardware. And I need a six-volt battery. 
battery for this overboard device. So uh, we're gonna grab a battery for that. Sounds good, let's get it. Any guesses how many miles we do each day walking this stretch from know. the car to the dock to the boat? It's not very fun going back and forth every time. And the worst part is when you forget the car keys oh, or your wallet. That's oh the worst. My gosh, I've done yeah. that a time or two. Or three. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes at the end of the day, we hitch a ride on the golf cart because we've walked all we want to walk. This is not on the to-do list today, but I do think it's necessary. Right. Boat life, you always find something extra to do that isn't necessarily on the to-do list. Well, it wasn't the to-do list today it was to uh, do the AC stringers, and of course, I haven't, haven't done, done that, that yet. yet. The nice thing about our outdoor cushions, we can wash them. Yeah. So before we uh, head out, we want to make sure to Take have these, a fresh start. Yeah, have to take these to the washing, the laundry facilities here at the marina. While we're fortunate enough to have a washer and dryer on board our sailboat, it's easier doing laundry in the marina's facilities. We'll miss that convenience when we bid farewell. up our 100 gallon water tank here we actually have two on board uh, it's 200 gallons of fresh water at any given time and recently we haven't been taking showers on the boat we've actually been using the marina facilities uh, so it takes well, we go through about 200 gallons in two weeks uh, with that you know taking showers here but if we were on the boat we'd go through probably about once a week so um, gotta fill up the water tanks every so often uh, it's just one of those weekly uh, chores for the boat but what's great is when we are in clean water, we do have our Spectra 400 water maker that makes 10 gallons of fresh water an hour. So once we are down in the Keys or in the Bahamas, we'll be turning that on and hopefully not having to go to a dock and fill up every time. Yeah. Well, we like that unlimited hot water at the marina, so we're milking it while we can. There you go. <laughs> So if you can hear that horrible noise in the background, that's actually a bird uh, speaker that is... A bird speaker. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a deterrent, bird deterrent. Uh, and it's annoying as can be. And it runs all day, every day, during daylight hours. Uh, and it's just absolutely annoying. And I know that we can hear it in a lot of our other videos. Um, and we will not miss it when we leave the dock. I'm not gonna miss that one bit. Hey, Lisa! Hi, neighbor. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. We've met a lot of cool people while we're here at the marina. And one of them is just two doors down, per se. Should I say two boats down? Two boats down. This is Miss Lisa. Get you in focus there. Back on up. Oh, here It's we been are. great being your neighbor. Oh, it's been wonderful <laughs> being your neighbor. Yes, so Lisa is actually the very first neighbor we met back in i think this was like may when we came to tour the marina the first time to see our spot and we talked and i was literally walking away and i was telling cole i was like we're gonna be buddies we're gonna have a lot of good conversations i kid you not i said that in the Did video you really? yeah and we will uh, be here for a couple months while we learn the boat and prepare to uh, set sail yeah it's all becoming more real it is and we met a couple who is just down the dock from us, who'd be our dock neighbors. Really sweet couple, and I just feel there being lots of long and slow conversations at this place. Yeah. You know, not in a hurry, nowhere to go, and all day to get there kind of thing. Absolutely. So, we're excited. Well, it's all came true. Yeah, it's all come true. And, and I have so benefited from these folks. They are amazing. Aw, uh, And it's not just what they are providing, you know, with their, their tours and their cruises, but they give from their heart. 
And it's going to be far more than just going on a cruise. It's going to be a lifetime experience. And I wish everybody would have a chance to meet these wonderful Aww, people. Oh, you're sweet. No, I'm not. And we hope to see you in the Bahamas. I hope to get down there. Yes, yes. Oh. We've enjoyed being your neighbor I and you wanted to introduce oh. you to the channel. Oh. <laughs> We've had several neighbors come and go during our time here. And one of them is Tom. And you're heading out soon, too. Yep. Tell me about your plan. Hopefully, you're not far behind us. We're probably a month behind you. A month behind us. All right. We're going to be tracking in your wake. All right. <laughs> we're looking forward to it. We've enjoyed having you as a neighbor. We've certainly learned a ton from you, especially during the hurricane. He came over here and helped Cole uh, take down our front sail and just really help get us prepared. So you've been a wealth of knowledge. Well, you so. guys seem to have a good handle on it. <laughs> we're trying. We're learning a lot, but there is still they a call lot. Them sheets. <laughs> say that again. Don't say that. Yeah. <laughs> so I had to ask Tom what sheets were because I wasn't a, I wasn't, didn't have all the lingo down yet. So he right. kind of laughed at me. He did but. laugh at us. He's like, wow, you really don't know what you're talking about. But we're learning. <laughs> we, we now know the difference between sheets and halyards. You know, you got to start somewhere. It really. And, uh, and now you know how to tie up to a dock. And now we know how to tie up to a dock and all the things, you know, this is, this is humble beginnings here. Like one day we're going to be pros but you gotta start somewhere. You know, one of the things about dock life is you get to meet so many different interesting people. And uh, I got Nolan here. Nolan is the ship store manager. And Nolan, I, you and I were talking for, I don't know, two months before we ever bought the boat. Cause right. I kept calling and actually pro tip, if you need a slip and they keep saying that there's a waiting list, just call every day. Just call every day. Every day. But, uh, but anyways, so and then we were here for, I don't know, five months. I never knew this particular thing about you, but you're an author. That's right. And uh, so we've got uh, to talking about it and uh, no one has a past in trading and like Wall Street, is that right? And, That's right. And so you wrote a book. Um, the book is called? License to Steal. And the, the plot of it is what? Give us a little, uh -huh. give us a little. It was uh, about a stockbroker that wasn't getting uh, rich enough, fast enough. And so he decided to start uh, cutting a few corners, and uh, next thing you know, the FBI is trying to track him down and uh, buy the book. All right, so. so so I actually bought the book, and I'm going to read the book uh, along our travels. Uh, but it just kind of goes to sh show, and I guess the the point I'm trying to make here is there's so many interesting people uh, at these marinas and and on boats, and I'm super excited about our travels, uh, Emily and I, and the people we're going to meet and the places we're going to go, and all the different stories that uh, we're going to hear. make back and forth on the dock each night you work? Usually about 70 to 75. 70 to 75, do you count them? In a, yeah, in a six hour shift, yeah. Oh it's wow, Come on. all right, well, gotta go, it's raining. And, Thanks for the ride. six years <laughs> doing this, I've met people from every continent except Antarctica, because there's nobody oh from there. That's yeah. impressive. And there's a lot of characters included in that. <laughs> Including us, right? That's it. <laughs> awesome, Thanks for the ride. You're welcome. Have a good night. You too. <laughs> We always appreciate a ride, right. especially now that it's raining. Ah. <laughs> We've quickly learned that our new home gets dirty much faster than our old home. Just keeping up with cleaning and maintaining her seems like a full-time job, not to mention all the hours spent editing. Life is moving so quickly as we make our final preparations to leave our newfound security. All of the changes make us excited and anxious, but we believe it's worth it. Is a life without risk and adventure even a life worth living? We don't think so. Next week, we're going to school, captain's school that is, and we start the process of saying goodbye to our family. Love you.
That's right. That's right.